Hey, welcome back to our Google My Business setup series. Again, this is your trainer, Avram Gonzalez. And in this video, we're going to talk about 360 video and photo. Okay, this is a very exciting thing. It's not going to be applicable for all businesses, but if you are a brick and mortar or you have people visiting your location in person, this is, I believe, essential to jump on for a number of different reasons. So that's the first thing I want to talk about is why 360 photo and video is important and why I think it's essential in the future. But then I also want to give you some tips on how to go about doing this yourself if you want to do it, different types of equipment that you might consider using, or you know what you might want to consider if you about just hiring a professional to do it and come and do it. Okay, so. The first thing here is that what we've been noticing with clients that we've been putting together 360 photo like virtual tours of their locations is that Google is giving them a huge boost. We're talking 30 to 40 percent in increased exposure for their Google My Business listing just by adding 360 photo. Okay, so if you are familiar with I'll show you here on this screen. If you're familiar with the ability to get on Google Maps and then click around on the streets, it's called Google Street View. You can go up and down a street to check out what um, a location or an area looks like in a 360. You might have seen the Google cars rolling around taking these these street view photos. Well, we can actually create street view type photos and virtual tours inside of businesses locations okay and that's what this 360 tab is all about okay so now that you know why this is so important and why you get you can get such a huge boost just by adding this here you know if you if there's one thing you take out of this whole entire free training series that I'm doing here on Google my business setup it's this if you can put this together and put this onto your listing you're gonna get a huge bump just from doing this of course I recommend doing all of it and that's why you should watch this video till the end and and the entire series okay um, so this is a huge thing and I'm really excited about it if you can't tell okay in terms of equipment you can do this yourself with a smartphone but the only caveat that I'll give is that sometimes it's going to take some extra editing on your behalf in order to make sure the photos are done right. You have to have a really steady hand in order to do this with a smartphone. Um, but you can do it, and you can do it on your own. Okay, It'll just take a significant amount of time. What I would suggest doing instead is either you know purchasing this yourself or having somebody else come out and do it is using a small camera like the Ricoh Theta. Okay, I go in, in more depth in some of my advanced training about the different types of cameras that you can get but I got a camera a Ricoh Theta 360 camera for under two hundred dollars okay and that's been allowing me to shoot these photos for all of our different clients okay depending on the space that you're in you're going to want a tripod okay you can't effectively pull this off if you're just utilizing your hand okay it's very difficult to do this inside your location I'd recommend using both a large and a small tripod depending on the different spaces that you're shooting okay that way you can make sure that there's no people in the shots when you're doing it and you can get some really clean photos okay when it comes to shooting uh, Google recommends that when you're shooting indoors that you want to space out your photos at least every meter. So that's every like I think a meter is like f like a little over three feet, right? So every three to four feet apart is when you want to shoot another photo. So most locations will take between you know 15 and 20 photos to get a really good idea of what that space is like, and so people can actually click around inside your location just from Google Google Maps. Okay, they can take a virtual tour of your location, and so. Man, what this does for your, your trust and credibility, it just goes through the roof and people feel like they already know the space before they come in. They know what they're getting themselves into. If your business looks great inside, this is going to be a huge selling point if it's clean for people to come and want to visit. Okay, I would possibly just recommend hiring a Google trusted photographer. I'm going to talk about this more in other trainings how to find these people. You can also just Google it, Google Trusted Photographers, and you can find a list of people in your area that do this, and they can come in and just set up and do an entire shoot for you, and you don't have to worry about it, and they already know the best practices. Okay. Uh, however, you've gotten some of the basics here on how to go ahead and do this yourself. Again, this is really only applicable if you have a brick and mortar business. It's not going to make a lot of sense if you have a service-based business. Okay, I don't even know if this is actually an option for you, but uh, if you have a space that you want to show off, if you want to take advantage of this, definitely, definitely jump on it and get yourself some 360 photos of your location and set up a mini virtual tour so that people can come check you out ahead of time. Okay, we've been seeing some huge results for our clients that we've been utilizing this for. And I think it's worth you jumping on as well. 
Okay. If you want to get our full recommended equipment list of the different types of tripods, different cameras to look at, and the best practices of how to shoot this yourself if that's what you want to do, um, then go ahead and click the link in the description below this video and we have some advanced training. Okay, Although this should be enough to just get you started if you want to do it yourself, but I know there's some people that like to take it to the next level. They want to make sure that they do it to the best of their ability and get the most they possibly can out of it. And if that's you, then go ahead and click the link below this, this video and uh, check out our advanced training you'll probably enjoy it okay so with that this will conclude the the actual like the media section part of this this short Google my business setup training that we put together for you for free and in the next the next few videos you don't want to sleep on this okay the most important part is coming next which is has to has to do all with the optimization of the actual pieces of media that you're putting together before you upload them to Google my business if you do this stuff the right way and you pay close attention you're going to get a lot out of it and your listing is going to get seen by a lot more people okay so this is po quite possibly the most important part of the training so I'll catch you for those next few videos thanks for watching thanks for watching my video if you got some value out of it give it a thumbs up comment below if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible and then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day I'll see you on the next video